It has been a week long search almost for a lot of different search crews that have been in Crawford County still looking for any sighting of Candace Caffis. Now volunteers are anxious to find her because tomorrow is her birthday. She'll turn 35 years old tomorrow. Our Keelan Berrien was in Crawford County all day with all those volunteers. How are they feeling about how things went today, Keelan? Well, Mike and Eva, when they first started out the day, they was feeling hopeful. Now, that feeling has changed. Now they're feeling worried. Tomorrow's her big day, and they just do not want her to miss it. I've not had a birthday without her for the last seven, eight years now. So to have one day or one birthday without her is not even an option for us at this point. With Candace's birthday on Saturday, search teams are back on ATVs, state police on mounted units, and community volunteers are on foot to look for her. We're not stopping until we find her. we got to find her. So as the saying goes, it takes a village. We're going to area RSV 61. And for Candace, it's all hands on deck to find her. Her and I, we always had this saying that we had each other's back. So now it's my turn to really step it up and have her back and find her and bring her home. While everyone searched through woods in different areas, they're hoping Coffee's nose is her birthday and will come back home. Um, as of right now, we'll probably end up continuing to search if we have not found her today. Um, however, if we can't, we're going to just keep pushing. We've received a lot of tips that have been calling into the state police barracks and notifying us of things that they've seen or people that they that may have matched her description. And we've sent troopers out to check on those tips. None of them have been credible so far. So with combined community efforts, Candace Coffins can be home for her 35th birthday. We're not stopping. We we miss her. We love her. We need her home. It's not that we want her home. But we need her home. Right. They miss her. Everyone does miss her, and they all want her home. Earlier today, around 4:45, 5 o'clock, there was a possible lead at a soybean field, but after searching, it just led to another end. Since they aren't able to find her today, the search will continue on tomorrow. Everyone is asked to meet at Vernon Township Fire Department at 9 a.m., and then from there, they move on and, um, and place themselves at their search location. And later on today, up. Oh, it, but later on today, at um, later on today, you can find more information about this search party on our website, erienewsnow.com. But for now, reporting out of Vernon Township, Keelan Berrien, Erie News Now.